The universal virtual tool speculation surrounds their origins, with debates on North African or Arabic ancestry. Recent studies suggest a mixture of nomads from both North and Sub-Saharan Africa. The Fulani played a pivotal role in the spread of Islam through jihad, becoming a significant political and economic force in West Africa. Central to Fulani identity is their nomadic lifestyle, revolving around cattle. Cattle ownership symbolizes wealth, yet it has led to conflicts with local farmers as the herds graze on their fields. Modernization and transportation poses a threat to the nomadic identity, pushing some to settle in farms and villages, causing cultural challenges. Distinctive features of Fulani culture include a deep respect for beauty, evidenced by intricate tattoos, and a tradition of bravery and fearlessness, symbolized by ceremonial spear duels. The caste system among the Fulani comprises the nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani. The Fulani people's journey through history is marked by intricacies and diverse narratives that intertwine with the rich tapestry of West African culture. As they traverse the Sahel grasslands from Senegal to Sudan in the 16th century, the Fulani's nomadic life shape their identity. Despite their small numbers, nomadic groups expanded due to the availability of grazing lands, leading to the emergence of distinct factions, the settled Fulani and the nomadic Fulani. In the 16th century, Tengwala Koli, a nomadic Fulani leader, rose against the Songhai Empire's edict's limiting grazing space. His rebellion, though he perished in battle, spurred the Fulani to conquer regions northwest of the Jaran Mountains, establishing new lines of kingship. By the 18th century, the Fulani's power extended southward and eastward, bringing them into conflict with the Oil Empire. This era saw the rise of leaders like Usman Dan Fodio, who sought to reform Muslim practices, leading to the establishment of centralized Fulani empires. Religiously, the Fulani embraced Islam, following the Maliki school and adhering to Sunni Muslim practices. Their political dominance grew steadily in the 17th and 18th centuries, culminating in the Fulani empire founded by Usman Dan Fodio, which included smaller states like the Fauta Jalan and the Messina. These regions later became known as the Takra to the Arabs. Migration played a crucial role in shaping Fulani history. Over a span of a thousand years, from 900 AD to about 19 AD, Berber migrations from North Africa to Senegal region brought the Fulani into the spotlight. These migrations led to encounters with various African tribes, resulting in the Fulani conquering less powerful groups. Despite the complexities and debates surrounding their origins, the Fulani people's genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin. Historical and archaeological records support the Fulani's presence in Western Africa since the 5th century AD, 
The dog paintings in it are seen in nature indicating proto-Fulani cultural traits. The Fulani language, known as Fula, exhibits linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber, reflecting interactions with North Africa. Fula, categorized within the Niger Congo language family, has multiple dialects associated with different regions such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Mazina, Sokoto, and Adamawa. As the Fulani people face the challenges of modernization and the risk of losing their nomadic identity, they grappled with adapting to changing times. The clash between the traditional way of life and the demands of an evolving world raised questions about cultural preservation and the future trajectory of the Fulani people. In summary, the Fulani people's narrative unfolds through the lenses of migration, conquest, religious transformation, and cultural adaptation, creating a dynamic and multifaceted story, deeply rooted in the history of West Africa. Numbering around 38 million, the Fulani are spread across West Africa, with significant populations in Nigeria, Senegal, Mali, Cameroon, Niger, and other countries. The Fulani have a long history, with records tracing their presence back to the Senegambia region around a thousand years ago. Their nomadic lifestyle and mastery of cattle, herding contributed to the rise of the Empire of Ghana. The Fulani people's dynamic narrative extends beyond political and religious realms, encompassing social structures, cultural practices, and their interactions with neighboring communities. The Fulani's societal fabric is woven with a deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos adorning their bodies. Notably, the blackish color of a Fulani woman's lips, often a result of hair or tattooing, serves as a distinctive feature, reflecting the importance placed on aesthetics. Beyond the adornments, the Fulani people maintain a strong sense of pride, evident in their nomadic herding lifestyle. Cattle the most prized possessions in Fulani society serve as a measure of wealth. However, this centrality of cattle has sparked conflicts, particularly with local farmers, as the herds occasionally graze on their fields, revealing the complexities of coexistence between different livelihoods in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, such as spear duels marking the coming of age for young boys, showcase the Fulani's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness. While such rituals have historical significance, some have faced legal restrictions due to safety concerns. These cultural practices underscore the Fulani's commitment to preserving their unique heritage, even as external influences and modernization pose challenges to their traditional way of life. As modes of transportation modernize across West Africa, the Fulani face the risk of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages become a necessity presenting a stark contrast to their historical lifestyle. 
This shift raises questions about the preservation of Yuni culture and the potential impacts on their societal dynamics. The Yuni's respect for a strict caste system further shapes their social structure. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Yuni, this caste system influences various aspects of their lives including social interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. In the realm of religion, the Fiori's adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity. The Maliki school of Islam guides their religious practices encompassing obligations such as praying five times a day, reciting the Quran, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca, and almsgiving. This religious foundation has not only shaped their spiritual beliefs, but has also influenced their political and social structures throughout history. The Fulani people, Numbering approximately 38 million, have carved a distinctive niche in West African history and culture. Their origins, though the subject of scholarly debate, intertwine with the Senegambia region, suggesting a deep-rooted connection to the West African landscape over a millennium. Historical and genetic evidence now leans towards an indigenous West African origin, challenging earlier speculations about North African or Arabic ancestry. The Fiori's dynamic journey unfolds against the backdrop of social, political, and economic complexities. Their expansion eastward and westward in the 16th century marked a pivotal moment, leading to the emergence of settled and nomadic factions. Spearheaded by leaders like Tenbrano Kohli and later Usman Dan Fodio, the Fiori's influence extended across regions culminating in the establishment of empires and jihad states in the 17th and 18th centuries. Religion has been a cornerstone of human identity, with Islam shaping their spiritual, social, and political landscapes. The adoption of the Maliki school and adherence to Sunni Muslim practices illustrate a deep-seated commitment to their faith. The rise of empires led by human leaders, known as the Mayas, mirrored the intertwining of religious and political authority. The Fiori's nomadic heritage, characterized by cattle herding and extensive trade routes, has not only shaped their economic practices, but has also contributed significantly to the broader West African economic fabric. The clash with settled agricultural communities over resources reflects the complexities inherent in balancing traditional lifestyles with evolving societal norms. Cultural practices, such as intricate tattoos and spear duels, serve as vivid expressions of human identity. The adherence to a strict caste system adds another layer to the social fabric, delineating roles and statuses within their community. In the face of modernization, the Fulani grapple with the potential erosion of their nomadic identity, raising questions about the preservation of their unique cultural heritage. Linguistically, 
The film is full of which showcases a fusion of influences, incorporating loan words from Arabic and Berber. Their ability to communicate in multiple languages, including French or English, reflects a historical adaptability to diverse cultural contexts. As education plays a crucial role, Fulani Muslims often possess literacy in Arabic, emphasizing the continuity of their intellectual traditions. The Fulani's story is one of resilience, adaptation, and a delicate dance between tradition and change. Their ability to navigate the shifting landscapes of West Africa, from the Sahel grasslands to the modern urban centers, speaks to the enduring strength of their cultural tapestry. As they continue to forge their path in the 21st century, the Fulani people contribute a unique chapter to the ongoing narrative of West African diversity and heritage. The Fulani people, numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing a resilient people, navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. Historically, the Fulani entered Senegal from the north and east, and various theories propose different origins, including ties to Berber people of North Africa. Genetic evidence, however, suggests indigenous West African roots, supported by linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber languages. Religiously, the Fulani are predominantly Muslims, following the Maliki school of Islam. The rise to political dominance occurred in the 17th and 18th centuries, with key figures like Asman Damfodio, establishing the Fulani Empire. Migration patterns, influenced by Berber movements, brought the Fulani into contact with various African tribes, often resulting in conquests. The Fulani people's journey through history is marked by intricacies and diverse narratives that intertwin with the rich tapestry of West African culture. As they traversed the Sahel grasslands from Senegal to Sudan in the 16th century, the Fulani's nomadic lifestyle shaped their identity. Despite their small numbers, nomadic groups expanded due to the availability of grazing lands, leading to the emergence of distinct factions, the settled Fulani and the nomadic Fulani. In the 16th century, Tengwala Kali, a nomadic Fulani leader, rose against the Songhai Empire's edicts limiting grazing space. His rebellion, though he perished in battle, spurred the Fulani to conquer regions northwest of the Jalan Mountains, establishing new lines of kingship. By the 18th century, the Fulani's power extended southward and eastward, bringing them into conflict with the Oil Empire. This era saw the rise of leaders like Usman Dan Fodio, who sought to reform Muslim practices, leading to the establishment of centralized Fulani empires. Religiously, the Fulani embraced Islam, 
following the Maliki school and adhering to sunny Muslim practices. Their political dominance grew steadily in the 17th and 18th centuries, culminating in the Fulani Empire founded by Osman and Fodio, which included smaller states like the Fauta Jan and the Messina. These regions later became known as the Takhrir to the Arabs. Migration played a crucial role in shaping Fulani history. Over a span of a thousand years, from 900 AD to about 19 AD, Berber migrations from North Africa to Senegal region brought the Fulani into the spotlight. These migrations led to encounters with various African tribes resulting in the Fulani conquering less powerful groups. Despite the complexities and debates surrounding their origins, the Fulani people's genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin. Historical and archaeological records support the Fulani's presence in Western Africa since the 5th century AD, with rock paintings in the Tassili and Ajda indicating proto-Fulani cultural traits. The Fulani language, known as Fula, exhibits linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber, reflecting interactions with North Africa. Fula, categorized within the Niger-Congo language family, has multiple dialects associated with different regions such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Mazina, Sokoto, and Adamula. As the Fulani people face the challenges of modernization and the risk of losing their nomadic identity, they grappled with adapting to changing times. The clash between the traditional way of life and the demands of an evolving world raised questions about cultural preservation and the future trajectory of the Fulani people. The Fulani people's narrative unfolds through the lenses of migration, conquest, religious transformation, and cultural adaptation, creating a dynamic and multifaceted story, deeply rooted in the history of West Africa. The Fiori's story is one of complexity and diversity, spanning centuries and continents, reflecting the intricate tapestry of West African history and culture. Finally, most Fulani people are taken as Sunni Muslims, but are also influenced by the larger Muslim Brotherhood. For most of the Fulani people, the settled Fulani are more devout in religious activities compared to the nomadic Fulani. The Fulani people's dynamic narrative extends beyond political and religious realms encompassing social structures, cultural practices, and their interactions with neighboring communities. The Fiori societal fabric is woven with a deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos adorning their bodies. Notably, the blackish color of the Fiori woman's lips often a result of henna or tattooing, serves as a distinctive feature, reflecting the importance placed on aesthetics. Beyond the adornments, the Fulani people maintain a strong sense of pride, evident in their nomadic herding lifestyle. Cattle, the most prized possessions in Fulani society, serve as a measure of wealth. However, 
The centrality of cattle has sparked conflicts, particularly with local farmers, as the herds occasionally graze on their fields, revealing the complexities of coexistence between different livelihoods in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, such as spear duels marking the coming of age for young boys, Showcase, the Fiumi's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness. While such rituals have historical significance, some have faced legal restrictions due to safety concerns. These cultural practices underscore the Fiumi's commitment to preserving their unique heritage even as external influences and modernization pose challenges to their traditional way of life. As modes of transportation modernize across West Africa, the Fulani face the risk of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages become a necessity presenting a stark contrast to their historical lifestyle. This shift raises questions about the preservation of Fulani culture and the potential impacts on their societal dynamics. The Fulani's respect for a strict caste system further shapes their social structure. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani. This caste system influences various aspects of their lives, including social interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. In the realm of religion, the Fulani's adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity dots 